Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah. So in this video, I want to talk about uh some very weird thing in some very weird uh some very weird class in uh, computational complexity. Uh, basically, it's called a PPAD. Okay, and uh, there's a there's a complexity class called PPA and also PPP. Okay, so these are very weird thing. So I would like to make a very small video uh describe what this means. Okay. And uh, we'll talk about more interesting stuff in the future. Okay, and uh, so basically, uh, uh, one can define a class called FMP, right? So basically, FMP basically is the idea that it's a functional problem. Right, so basically, we know MP, right? So imagine that, so uh, when somebody, you, you can imagine MP is basically uh, somebody give you a, uh, a uh, problem that you can uh, put in polynomial time, you can verify, uh, you can easily verify the solution. Okay, so another informal definition is that uh, somebody give you the Boolean circuit, and they want to ask whether there is a solution such that uh, this Boolean circuit is equals to one. Okay, so FMP is basically this, right? So uh, give, uh, let's say I give you a Boolean circuit, so let me just uh, use, so let me just use this kind of notation. So basically FMP means that, uh, let me just write this given a Boolean circuit. So this is Boolean circuit. And then you need to output one solution. You need to output x1, xn, such that uh, fx1, xn is one. Okay, so notice that there is a may or may not be a solution, but uh, uh, this is like the MP complete problem. Uh, basically, it's the the search problem for MP complete. Okay, and uh, so from here that one can define a very weird class called TFMP. So the T this T means total. So this TFMP is another complexity class such that uh, you can imagine that it's the problem in MP. So it's the problem in MP. But guarantee there is a solution. So, but uh, there must be a solution. So imagine that. So TFMP is some problem that uh, that the uh, special case in MP. So basically, it's sub. So this is a subset of the FMP. So TFMP is just something that uh, the problem in MP, but you uh, due to some weird thing, this guy uh, has a solution. Okay, so the weird thing is that uh, in the, so now the problem is that uh, what kind of problem, right? What kind of problem? What kind of the problem? What kind of the, uh, what kind of problem that you guarantee, right? You guarantee there is a solution. So this is the same as in the mathematics, right? In the, in, in the mathematics, there's some, then usually that uh, you cannot get a solution explicitly, but you can construct a solution. Well, this is so weird. Okay, so uh, there's a three common argument. Okay, so in so it, so it, so in one sense, in in what sense that usually one can guarantee there is a solution. Okay, so the first one is simple, called a PPA. Okay, PPA called a let's say this is called a polynomial uh, parity argument. Okay, so basically this is the same as, this is also using, the, also the same as called the uh, handshaking lemma. Okay, so idea is the following, right? You are given a graph G, uh, which is undirected. Okay, and the, the very simple, uh, I think everybody know, know the following, right? So since it's undirected, so if you sum over the degree of each vertices, they must be the two to the edge. Two to the edge. Okay, so uh, the hang so this is the handshaking lemma, but we know that the following, right? Since it's sum over two to the edge. So if there is an edge, so if there is a vertices, if there is a vertices V such that uh, the degree V is odd. 
that immediately immediately imply there is another V prime in the graph G, such that the uh, V such that the degree V prime is odd. Because if you have only one odd, then there must be another odd such that the list. Right. So the problem is that if your if your computational problem that you can uh, do the turn reduction or you can reduction to the to the this kind of problem that the uh, one this this is called PPA. Okay, so the PPA can be defined as this. So given the graph G, uh, suppose we know and uh, suppose we also give you so we also give so uh, also given V belongs to V such that the degree V is odd. And then you need to output. So your goal is to output V prime such that the uh the degree V prime is also odd. And then in this case, that G can be very large, right? So G can be implicitly exponential large. So G can be exponential large. And so your goal is to output F your goal is to output is V prime, right? So obviously that this PPA will in the TFMP. Because in this case, that the PPA is guaranteed there is a solution, right? But very weird construction by this handshake and lemma, so you always has a solution. Okay, so if your problem can be reduced into this PPA, then we call this, uh, when call, we call your problem is in the PPA complexity class. Okay, and uh, there is an idea called PPA. Okay, so this is famous because uh, there is an idea called, in the game theory called Nash equilibrium. And uh, solving a uh, general natural equilibrium in the uh, is basically PPAD complete. So let me just describe PPAD. So in order to understand PPAD, we need an idea called end of a line. So it's an end of line problem. Okay, so the settings that uh, given the G is a VE, is a, is a direct graph. Okay, and I guarantee that uh, I guarantee the following. Right? I guarantee that uh, each vertices has uh in or out degree at most one. Okay, so this means that we only have three cases. The first one is that uh, these vertices there's a out vertices, or there's in vertices, or there's a in and out vertices, okay, but the uh, at but at most one, okay, and uh, so from here that we know that uh, suppose, okay, so this so this is called the uh, uh source, and then this is called sink, okay, so suppose the idea basically you you can e easily see see the following right suppose uh basically if there is a source. If there is a source, then then what? There must be a stink, right? There must be a stink, right? Obviously, okay. And uh, right, if there is a source, if there you always have, if you have a source, there must be a sink. Okay, so the problem. So this is the the solution. The right? solution is this. It's always it is okay so you can see the problem should be should go set this way so given a sink or given a source s you need to output uh, s prime or t prime or t uh, such that uh, s prime is a sink is a source or uh, t is a sink Okay, so this is the this is the problem. Okay, and uh, obviously that also PPAD is in the uh, TFMP. Okay, because there's a solution. Okay, and another way that another way I want to there's another way to another way to define this property. Uh, so we can imagine that there is a polynomial time polynomial time computable Boolean function. And then there is a zero such that uh, S zero different from zero, but P zero equals to zero. 
Okay, so this tell so so this S is called the uh, successor, and the P is called the predecessor. Okay, so this idea is very simple, right? So given a string, right, given string zero, that S it will map to the next one, and the T will and given any points that P will map to the previous one. So this tells you that the zero is is outputs, right? So zero is a source. Right? This P of zero will tell you that zero has no predecessor. On, so basically zero is predecessor itself is itself. Okay. And your goal is to find so your goal is to find the V or just non-zero such that the S P of V is different from V or uh P of S V different from V. So P of V should be the so imagine that V, right? So P of V should be the previous to be the predecessor. So S of P of V should be V, right? So this means that uh so the so these two are uh if one of these is true, basically it means that V is either source or sync. Okay, so this kind of problem is that you need to, to find a source or a sink. Or I give you a source, you need to find another source or an, an, or another sink. And then this problem is always it is. So the solution always is by a very weird property. This is called PPAD. Okay, and a final class, which is interesting, called PPP, in the, also in the T, uh, TFMP, basis the proper problem that the solution exists. By the uh, Pinjino principle. Okay, I think I don't want to. I think it's very trivial that you can check. Uh, you can you know what's Pinjino principle. Okay. So uh, this is the three common uh, weird complexity class that uh, your solution is guaranteed uh, by some weird property that either uh, a parity uh, argument by a uh, same shaken lemma or this PP end of the line problem or this PPP. <laughs> Uh, PP problem. Okay, so uh, yeah, and uh, obviously that they are all in uh, they are all larger than FP. So we can draw the following diagram. So we have MP, FMP, and the sub TFMP is a subset. And you can draw from PPP, PPA, PPAD, and all these are in the FP. So FP is the problem that you can search in the polynomial time. Okay, and there's a complexity argument that uh, all these three are also, all these are different from P. Okay, so see you guys next videos.